good news. Sid Meier's Civilization VI is on Nintendo Switch. Bad news. You don't know where to start. Well, sit back, relax, and let me be your guide dog. When starting a game of Civilization, or Civ for short, you need to pick your leader, the mighty ruler of your empire. Each leader has their own unique strengths and bonuses. They might be a ruthless opportunist, ruthlessly scientific, or just plain ruthless. Once you've chosen your civilization, it's time to, uh, start civilizing. It's super easy. You take a turn, then your competitors take a turn. On and on until victory is yours. Or theirs. It's so easy, a barbarian could play it. You're better than a barbarian, right? But unlike those wild barbarians, you actually care about the welfare of your empire. Build farms and cast your fishing nets to feed your loyal subjects. Construct mines and lumber mills to outwork the competition early. Like a majestic eagle, in the early game, you need to spread your wings and fly. Exploring the map, meeting your different neighbors, and discovering natural wonders will give you a leg up. But don't forget to keep your head on a swivel. On the world stage, a good defense is crucial. Lay the hammer down against any would-be usurpers. And beef up your empire for your future domination. So get out there and choose your civilization. Explore, build, conquer. And tune in next time as we dive deep into the almighty turn. bunch of things you can do with your turn in a game of civilization, but none so important as researching. The two main research trees are technology and civics. Each tree unlocks bonuses that will strengthen your civilization in different ways. Depending on which tech or civic you research, you'll set your civ on a different path to victory, but we'll cover those next time. Movement reveals unknown areas of the map, or as we like to call it, the fog of war. With the fog of war removed, you can uncover hidden resources and discover natural wonders. Huh, who knew Yosemite was in the middle of Africa? If you're unsure of what to do early on, send out a scout and have him start exploring. You never know what or who you might find. Welcome to the United States of America. Think Alexander the Great got his nickname because his empire was small? To grow your civ, you need to build. That means new buildings new units, and new city districts. Districts allow you to build more specialized buildings and improve certain parts of your civ. Want to control the high seas? You'll need a harbor. Military lagging behind? Better build an encampment to make better units. <laughs> the world is a dangerous, barbarian-infested place, and securing your civ's victory sometimes requires a less subtle approach. If an eye for an eye is your motto, attacking enemies strategically is critical to your success. We hereby declare war. But if the fist has failed, then why not try a shoulder rub? Use diplomacy, or schmooze your neighboring civs, to get yourself a trading partner. Not everyone will like you right away, so get to know the other leaders and their unique agendas. This will help you figure out the best way to win them over. Or topple them over. Por qué, señor? But how exactly do you win? Join me next time to learn all about sweet, sweet victory. From the moment you pick your civilization, you'll be defining your playstyle because every action contributes to your empire. Every move, building, and relationship made earns you science, culture, faith, or gold. And along with the research you've unlocked, you'll shape your path to victory. So what exactly does victory look like? Let's find out. The first way to win is right there in the name. Declare war and dominate the other civilizations by capturing their capital cities by force. Once you've captured the last capital city, boom, victory is yours. Be careful, though. Warmongering doesn't make you the most popular leader in the world. If the brutish ways of domination aren't for you, try for something more 
civilized. <laughs> Recruit history's greatest artists, musicians, writers, and more to create great works in your sieve. Soon you'll attract more tourists than the postcard industry can handle. Keep the tourism train rolling, and you'll become the envy of the world. Congrats, you just got a culture victory. Want to spread the adorable word of the Book of Poochins? Send your missionaries out on a pilgrimage to Civs next door. Your disciples need to convert half the cities of the world to your religion. If they do, you just scored a religious victory for your cuddly lord and savior. For a science victory, you'll need to boldly go where no civilization has gone before. By boldly beating everyone else to the final great feats in human engineering. Whoever said science was hard. Whether it's by the sword, song, or sacrament, you'll want to build wonders and specialized districts to boost you along your chosen path to victory. Plus, they really spruce the place up. It's a great, big, wonder-filled world out there, and we've barely scratched the surface. Now it's your turn to dive even deeper, discover the fun that awaits, and lead your empire to greatness. Welcome to Civilization 6.